everyone for this vlog i will show you the cost of living here in russia okay yeah i think we're good so first up here so we have one two three four four bucks i am guys so first bag Kira yung mga fresh fish. Meron pero sobrang mahal. So usually ang binibili namin dito yung mga ano to, frozen fish. Kaya pag umuwi kami ng Pinas, ang palagi naming request is mga seafood products. Kasi bibihira lang yung dito sa Russia. Meron naman, kaya lang mahal. Okay. I don't know. I forget kung ano to sa English. Pero bihira lang to sa atin sa Pinas. Ito yung uh, vegetables na kulay violet. Yan. So, ginagamit to pag gagawa ng brush soup. Russian soup. And apple. Rich. This is Another fruits and this is also not popular in the Philippines. Ah, plum. This is plum in English. Let me see. And this is for our cat. English. And this is. That's it, guys. So, total ng pinabili natin i I think, 4,400 rupees. So, that's around 3,500 pesos in Philippines. I'm, I'm not sure kung ano na yung price ng mga products dyan sa Pilipinas because I haven't been really, um, you know, buying groceries when we were in the Philippines before. So, hindi ko alam yung prices but I think 
mas mahal yung mga price dyan sa atin kumpara dito. Because now, as you can see, nung dami ko nung nabiling products, it's, it's only 3,500 in Philippine um, peso. Uh, dito guys, sa Russia, actually medyo tumaas na yung price ng bilihin since nagkaroon ng war between Ukraine and Russia. Marami talagang businesses ang naapektuhan and most of the products are increasing in price. You, um, makaramihan dyan yung mga imported products but Russia is a very self-sustaining country and those products na under sanctions wherein hindi na readily available dito kasi nga maraming mga businesses ang nag-pull out from Russia. What they did is they um, outsource products locally. Kaya hmm, hindi naman na pag pumunta ka sa groceries nila, hindi mo mararamdaman na may sanctions or may war kasi... It's it's normal. It's normal even you know prior the sanction. Dito ang ang, ang madalas na ginagawa namin is um, we order by uh, grocery. Uh, I mean by delivery. So there's an app. Kapag ganon dito kayo lang yung gagamitin mo. I use a Yandex app, and that's very ano very useful. Merong um, for taxi, for delivery, for groceries. Um, other things that you need in the house, it's also available there. And kapag ka naman sa grocery, okay lang, but you have to carry it kasi medyo madami. And actually, this guys, it's only for two people, for me and my husband. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, but yeah. So, so that's how we buy groceries here. It's very convenient, so kapag ka nag-order ka via app, um, you just have to wait for 20 to 30 minutes and uh, yan, darating na yung delivery. And they will, kasi we're, we're, we're living in um, in a building, so they will just go up and deliver it to your doorstep. It's very convenient, convenient guys. And in terms of the prices, uh, I think talagang medyo tumaas yung mga prices ng bilihin dito. And but... Actually, um, the government uh, control the economy by also giving opportunities to the people by, for example, decreasing the income tax. So, that's very important. So, that's why they, they have the balance. Kahit tumaas yung presyo ng bilihin, but the, yung take-home pay ng mga tao is also tumaas din. So, there's a balance in the... Um, prices and the salary of the um, workers here in Russia. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this vlog and I please um, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.